class, we're going to focus on a very popular topic, our core and abdominal areas to get this power going. And by the way, if you don't have your own silk yet, you can get one, the whole set, from my kaniyage.com website, by which if you buy one, you're also supporting me and the free aerial yoga classes. Okay, and let's meet in a silk. Okay, so let's start with a silk height. Uh, with your heels down, check that your silk will be just by your hip bones, the top of hip bones, in the hip top one. So that's the correct height. And now let's go into embryo pose where we start to warm up our abdominal area, body center. So just spread the silk, grab one edge, and take in your palms seven times the silk. So seven times just so we end up in the middle of it. And sit in. So now just Turn to your right side, I will mirror you. Both arms grab at one side, push you away and bring your right leg over the right side. So just crossing over. And from here, we're going cat cow. So take the silk um, in your eyes side height, so not so high because your shoulders will go up. So just so it will be comfortable and the shoulders relax. So, Let's start about the legs, so just the top and the back. So exhaling and pushing the silk forward. So wrapping the back as if somebody's pulling you through the shoulder blades. Inhaling and arching and looking up. Exhaling again, rounding and looking to your belly button. So your chin into your collarbones. Inhaling and opening through the chest, blindly and arching. And now adding the legs, so exhaling. And bring your hands both together, extend them, and lift them up from your core power. Inhaling, bending your knees and opening through the hips and arching up. And exhaling again, rounding, and lift your legs up as if the boat goes. Inhaling and opening, looking up to the ceiling. So a few more, exhaling, curling, and rounding. Inhaling, opening through the chest and hips. Exhale again, lift your legs as high as you can. Inhaling, opening. And last time, exhaling, pulling away. Inhaling, opening through your chest. And now exhale, push yourself forward, bring your legs up and hold into this boat pose. Looking down, rounding, and keep on lifting. Don't touch, don't put the legs on the silk next to it. That you can feel how your ascent already works. One more breath in and exhaling all the way down. And now let's push away from the silk and bring back your right leg to the front next to your left. And from here on, stand up and lean into the silk into chair pose. Okay, so heels under the knees, hips apart. And here, cross your elbows in front of you. So not behind, but in front of the silk. And then, lean your head into one of the forearms. So then, in that way, you will get more control. Because now, with exhalation, we will lift both legs up. Inhaling, slowly down. Exhaling, lifting up. Inhaling with control down. So it's better to lift maybe not as high, but you can pull it down slowly and without the sound, you know, without dropping all the way like this. So hold it tightly, all the muscles active, engage your abs and exhale. So a few more, exhaling up, inhaling down. Okay, last one. And then, just bend your elbows next to the air, drop your pelvis, and stretching out your abdominal area, your core, perhaps swinging from side to side. And notice that the silk is still under the rib cage, more like uh, under shoulder blades, not touching armpits. It shouldn't be squeezing you. Just opening your chest in that way, passively. Stretch your lower back, and as I said before, stretching, of course, our today topic, core muscles. And then inhaling, reaching up for the silk, and standing up, and now exhale, 
and spread again your silk. We're going to the back straddle, the upside down position. So, uh, as I always suggest, put it in half, and that way you won't damage, like you won't injure your back. It will be more comfortable and more safe here in this way, rather than the narrow silk. So spread it out. Go through the silk from the other edge and bend in half. When you're holding your edges, you're sitting into them. But note, very important, that the silk will be just under your buttocks. Not further, don't push it towards all the way in the knees, just under the buttocks. And then grabbing the sides, sliding down under your waistline, where the hips are, all the way, just a little bit, but it's hard to take it. So that's all right, height. And then leaning backwards, opening your leg, and wrapping around from front to back. your arms, relax the whole body, just let it stretch out, especially the spine and abdominal area, the belly is uh, passively lengthened and that way also squeezes more of the internal organs, intestines and that way massaging them and intoxicating. Release your shoulders, your neck and facial muscles. Everything is just hanging a bit. And trust yourself, it's holding you. Just immerse into this feeling. Just let it go. Fingers active as if spiders is holding through your uh, tips. And then we want to activate again the core. So in, that, in this way, when we have set up, it's kind of tricky, but go with me, bear with me. Just lift your head and look into your back. When you look and curl, you will feel that the muscles are activating in your center. So now keep it active, engaged. Just release your head. Just imagine that your body is like a clamshell, so you're a little bit bringing your pelvis towards your face while the shoulders and chest is lifting up, so we're curling. And hands on the ground. From here on, we're extending our legs into the sides, and this is the half starfish. And if you feel that the pelvis is going backwards like that, that means you're releasing your core. So try to push your pelvis forward, legs forward, as again, imagine you're collapsing your whole body for your center and holding here or full starfish is lifting your arms too. And now, after a few breaths, you continue to use this pose into the jellyfish movement. So first of all, I will show half jellyfish if you're still not feeling comfortable to release everything from the ground. So bring your legs back into the sill, but still active, give actively your center abdominal area. And from here on, exhaling and lifting your arms and curling, looking to your belly. Inhaling, opening through your arms. Exhaling again, lifting up and curling. Inhaling, opening. And who wants to more challenge when we're going into full starfish? And then exhaling, curling through your legs and arms into the center and and inhaling, opening through your five points. Exhaling, in, curling in, inhaling, opening. So whichever you're doing, half jellyfish or full, try to keep your core always engaged. Feel the warmth coming. One more time, so exhaling into the center, inhaling, opening. And last one. And let's bring your arms down, legs into the silk, wrapping in, and let's stretch out 
all that we did now engage all those muscles so uh, pigeon pose now taking out your right leg out and just release your inner groins release belly everything is passive so you can stay in this passive variation or if you want more active then you take one one or both arms your back leg and pull them away so if you're doing the active version uh, make sure that you activate and engage your buttocks your glutes to make your lower back safe so either you're pulling away or either you're just releasing just feel this openness through the front body especially as we're concentrating more on the body center so feel the core elongating and stretching out and keep on breathing in passive or active variation Few more breaths. Last breath in. And breathing out, releasing if you've been holding your foot. And now uh, let's bring the whole leg again through side, through front, inside the so, And now let's take left leg all the way to the side and go backwards and releasing behind you. Again, if you did passive variation in this pose, so please do the same with the other side, but it would be equal, uh, the same stretch. Or if you did the active by holding your foot with one of both arms, then do the same on this side. So either way, uh, just feel the stretch and openness for the front body again, through your chest, through rib cage, of course, your abdominal area and opening through the hips while the back is arching. And if you're holding your foot, make sure you activate your glutes and make your back safe. So keep on breathing fully throughout the lungs, full capacity. Feel more breaths. back to the silk, through side, front and inside the silk. Okay, so now let's uh, bring our palms just under the shoulders and straighten up into the handstand, but this is just for a short moment, but you straighten up through your legs and then crossing your elbows and we go to pendulum, swing pose. So exhaling and Lifting up, inhaling, arching backwards. Exhaling, lifting up through your core, inhaling through your back, arching back. And the goal is to make your body sway as high as you can. If you don't like to swing, then do this slowly without much swinging motion, just exhaling and slowly lifting up, inhaling slowly down. But if you like it, then keep doing it nicely. Few more times. Okay, and the last. And then release arms and swings. If you haven't been swinging that much, you can just push away from the ground and enjoy the swing. And slowly, with your fingertips, with your palms, just slowing yourself down. Okay, so bend your knees, look up to your belly, take the silk in between your knees and taking your legs out and going all the way on the mat. You can do it for flips, so knees together and just turning over. And let's relax in child's pose. So bend your knees, relax your arm by your side or palm on palm and put your head on, on them. Or if you feel a little bit tingling through your legs because we are still being upside down quite a while, so just stretch, extend your legs out and just lay on your belly. So whichever pose you chose, just relax, relax your legs, your buttocks if you're laying down. If you're in child's pose, relax your shoulders and your arms. And keep on breathing slowly. 
fully. Just feel your belly moving and pushing into the thighs if you're in child's pose or into the ground. Heartbeat. Two more moments. Just letting the whole blood work pressure normalize and balance again. on the ground and then bring your palms under the shoulders push away and bring your pelvis on your heels into child's pose and then round back and let's come up and now let's do last bit for the core to maximize all the inner fire so now just go on your all fours knees and hips apart palms under your shoulders and then right foot into the silk. If you can't tightly put it there in, instantly just go a little bit further. And now I will show this from the side. Okay, so now make sure your back leg, right leg is straight, pushing through the heel as if into an invisible wall. And left knee is under your hip, palms under the shoulders, back straight, and imagine something is already pulling you through a shoulder blade, so pull them away. And now prepare for the runner. We're gonna run to the finish line. Lift up your left knee and start bending one another leg, running through. Keep on holding and pushing through your palms. Especially bend your right knee, the one that leg that is in the silk. So you start to feel your quads warming up, your thigh muscles. Just a little bit more. And let's relax a bit and stretch out into tighter. Straighten back leg and arching through, lengthening your abdominal muscles and looking up to the ceiling. Or close your eyes. Slow down your breath. And now let's activate oblique muscles, your side muscles. So go on your elbows and you will bring your left arm towards front. Right leg, right arm, just with the palm and holding your balance and straighten up your left leg under. So we, that we will end up on your side. So we'll keep pushing through your shoulder up, but you won't, you know, drop down. Pull it away and push away through your uh, foot edge. And then right palm is still on the ground because from here on, exhaling and lifting your bottom leg up, inhaling down. Exhaling up, inhaling down. So three more. Last one. And again, turning on your knee, lifting through your palms. And now the knee will go towards the chest. So plant pose, full body straight, activate your core, glutes, shoulders over the wrists. And inhale here, exhaling, knee towards the chest, inhaling, plank, knee towards the chest, plank. And if you want more challenge, I will turn to facing you. If you want more challenge, you can bring your knee towards your triceps. Touching it, or maybe putting it on and doing the push up, or maybe flying crow. Inhaling, plank. So exhaling either the, towards the chest, either towards your triceps, or doing the push up and maybe flying crow. So two more, whichever you want variation. And then relaxing into half pigeon. So knee towards close to your wrists and foot towards your right side, just relax on your elbows, drop your head and 
just, you know, drop your whole body out. And release your back leg, so bend your knee, but the foot is active, still flexed. In this way, we're stretching out our inner groins and thigh muscles, quads. Turn your breaths. And inhaling, lifting up again, rear palm and knee under your hip, and let's change sides. So, right foot inside the stool and right knee under the hip bone. Okay, so let's start with running. I will turn to your side, and there you go. So, left leg is straight, still pushing through the heel. Palms under the shoulders, and remember this pulling away kind of motion and feeling as if you're pushing the ground. Okay, and now lifting your knee up and start running. Sometimes we call it a limp runner. <laughs> Just a bit more, hold your core, push away from your shoulders, looking in between your palms. A few more moments, almost there, and release, knee under the hip, stretching out for tiger, so back leg straight, looking up, close eyes, and arch, stretching the abdominal area. And now go all the way down on your elbows. Now turn your right palm in, left arm on the palm, and then turn your leg inside the silk and straighten out the back bottom leg so that it would be on the edge of the foot. So left arm is only holding you for the balance. And now we're activating the side muscles, obliques. So exhaling and lifting your bottom leg up, inhaling down, sailing up. And down. So three more. Keep holding and balancing. Also activating inner thighs. And then turning again into the front, pushing away from the ground, straighten up into the plank pose. And now we will do that knee towards your chest or your variations. So I will turn to your towards you. So exhale and knee towards the chest. Inhale plank or variations. Exhaling, maybe touching your triceps. Inhaling, plank. Maybe push up. Again, plank. Or flying curl. And plank. So whichever you want, just keep on doing it. Lifting your knee. You want? Towards your wrists and foot out towards the left and relaxing on your elbows, relax your head. Bend your back knee. Taking your left foot up and stretch out into the child's pose. So arms go forward, release your head. Just few breaths. Shavasana. 
So if you're still not sure how to go through a flip into cocoon, check the video above and let's meet inside the cocoon. Of course, you can always just go away a simple way, but just one is more fun. So feet inside, head in, cross your arms over your chest, close your eyes, and now just completely relax. Let the body to again absorb all the information, all that we did, and let all the energy that we made throughout the class balance throughout the body. So take as much as you need to relax in this pose. If you want, you can pause this video and keep continuing into the deeper relaxation. this inner fire going throughout the day and if you enjoyed this class please subscribe to my channel for upcoming early yoga classes so thanks for watching guys and if you would like to support this free aerial yoga classes you can find all the links down below in the description so see you next time bye namaste